What's up guys, it's Rafi here and in today's video we're going to talk about the differences between SAML, OIDC, API, and SCIM, S-C-I-M. I know, sounds like some secret code from the matrix or something like that, right? But if you've ever logged into an app at work or used something like Google to sign into something, you're probably already using some of these things. You just don't know it yet. So let's fix that. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what these terms mean. And more importantly, you're going to know when and why they're actually being used. And I'm going to break it down for you guys in plain English using real world analogies that are going to be easy to understand and you, it'll stick with you for the rest of your lives, hopefully. All right, so let's roll. So let's kick things off with SAML. You've probably used it before and you didn't even know it. SAML is kind of like an airport immigration checkpoint. Imagine you're flying into another country and you go through immigration. So you show your passport and they check your info. So once approved, you're allowed into the country. That's basically SAML in the digital world, okay? So let's say you work at a company, you log into your company's identity provider. Think of like Okta, Azure Active Directory, something like that. Then you can magically access other apps like Salesforce or Slack without having to log in again. So that's basically SAML doing its own thing. It's just saying, hey, this user is legit and let him in. That's it. So who's the passport, uh, password here, or the passport rather? That passport here is your login. So what's, who's the immigration here? The immigration here is the identity provider and the foreign country, that's the app that you're trying to access. So it's secure. It works great for the older, like more enterprise styled applications and it is XML based, which means it's a bit old. It's a little bit old, old school, but is very rock solid. <clears throat> so now we're going to move on to something called OIDC and we're going to use a driver's license example for this. So in terms of OIDC or Open ID Connect, it's kind of like the younger sort of like cooler sibling of SAML. Okay? If SAML is a passport, OIDC is kind of like your driver's license. So you use it to prove who you are all the time. Locally, fast, and without much hassle. So OIDC is used in more modern web apps and mobile apps. It's built on top of OAuth 2, 2.0 as sometimes called, which is kind of like an engine for secure data sharing, but OIDC adds the identity layer on top of that as well. So I'll give you guys a common example. So you ever see those signs that say something like, sign in with the Google button? That's basically OIDC in action. You click the button, right? And it checks in with Google and boom, you're in, right? So what's the big difference? The big main difference is that SAML sends an XML token. OIDC, on the other hand, sends a JSON web token, otherwise known as JWT. And then you have SAML who is more enterprise-y, right? A lot of big companies use, are using it. Whereas OIDC is more modern, it's more web friendly, and it's also really good for mobile. So let's talk a little bit about APIs. What is APIs? Like you, I feel like I've heard this term millions of times and you guys probably have too. So what is an API? So let's use an analogy. So imagine you're at a restaurant. You don't go to the kitchen to get your food at the restaurant, right? You ask the waiter, they pass your order to the kitchen, then you bring that order, then they bring that order back to your table. That's exactly what an API does in the tech world. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It basically lets two systems essentially talk to each other. So imagine like an app talking to a database or your phone, some, an app on your phone sending data to a server, right? So when you click the send button on a form, an API might carry that information 
into another system. So when your weather app, for example, shows there's a rain tomorrow, <clears throat> that's basically an API pulling weather data and sending it to your screen. In the identity world, APIs are everywhere. User provisioning, authentication, password resets, it's all powered by API under the hood of the car. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about SCIM, S-C-I-M. And this one gets overlooked, but it's crazy useful, okay? SCIM is like your company's HR system. When someone new gets hired, HR sends them up, sets them up with an email, right? You get a badge access, you get benefits, you get a lot of these kind of things. Now, when someone leaves HR, what do they do? They take off the badge, you return your laptop, right? You give away your parking passes back, all of this, this stuff is taken back. So Skim basically automates this entire process digitally. So it's a protocol that essentially syncs user identities across systems. So if you create a user, for example, in Okta, which is one of the identity and access management tools, Skim pushes that user to other systems. Think kind of like a box or a Zoom app automatically. So no more manual copy pasting, no more forgetting to deactivate accounts when someone has left the company, just clean, automatic identity lifecycle management. So SAML and OIDC are basically authentication, right? Who are you? Skim, it's provisioning. Let's create, let's update, delete users automatically. And APIs are basically kind of like the delivery truck, making everything work together behind the scenes. Now, the last thing, configured versus integrated apps. What does that mean? A configured app is like setting up your new phone. You go into the settings of your phone, right? You connect Wi-Fi, adjust notifications, Boom, you're done. It works, you did it manually. An integrated app is kind of like your iPhone syncing with your iPad, uh, iPods, for example. You open the case and boom, it just works seamlessly, like automatically. So in identity terms, a configured app means you set it up to use SAML or OIDC manually. An integrated app has a deep connection with your identity provider. It supports skim, it uses APIs, and it pulls, uh, pulls group info in, and it's all kind of like baked in together. So let's kind of recap what we just discussed. SAML, it's kind of like the passport of the airport analogy that I was using earlier. OIDC, it's sort of like your driver's license that you provide to show and verify who, who you are, right? API, it's kind of like the waiter that goes back and gets the food and brings the food and takes the food back. Skim, it's basically like your HR department. Okay, what does configured mean? It means manually setting something up. And what does integrated mean? It means built-in magic. These protocols are the backbone of secure and modern identity systems. And now, you actually get them. Like You understand what they mean, hopefully, right? So if this video helped you at all, Hit that like button, subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and drop a comment if you want to go deeper into Okta, identity and access management, or anything identity related at all. Shoot me a message, and I'll see you guys in my next video.